All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I wanted to talk about. Sense is one of the best gun belts in the market for concealed carry. It has a hidden track that allows you 40 plus sizing points. It gives you the ability to carry small all the way to a large firearm and is backed up with a 30 day money back guarantee. Definitely use Jarhead 6 for 10% off your entire order. Good thing that box is just here as an example, man. It barely has anything inside. I actually got a thousand rounds of nine mil right here. Check it out. If you want to support the channel, make sure you become a patron. There's going to be a link down below. You go all also use our Amazon affiliate links is going to be down below. We take a little kickback out of that and that helps the channel continue to be alive. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, got a quick video here that I wanted to do for you guys because I actually talked about this years ago, couple, maybe like three, four years or whatever. And I was talking about, you know, stock piling ammo and a lot of times people say how do you do it or what kind of choices do you have and i'm going to tell you there is many different great equipment out there there's the best way or the best can or the best this or the best that but the problem that we have that a lot of times people they get wrapped up so much into the whole new tactical equipment and this and that and that, that they never do anything you know we have all these operators hanging around here on youtube telling people do something a specific way if not your own that people are scared to do anything people are scared to go shooting because some operator that never done anything in his life that just happened to buy a glock 19 and trick it out and now he think it's a ninja is making fun of people and that's just not cool man we're supposed to be working together but anyways i love this cans right here and a while ago they sent it to me this is the mac can mtm case and i use this a lot to go to the range and they are barely uh i wouldn't say inexpensive but they like run ten dollars a little bit or something like that but you see this right here it has actually slot to boom magazine so if you want to save let's see one two three four five fifteen magazines in a can like this and take it with you in some kind of vehicle of safety or you want to store this in, in somebody's house in case that you have to make it that way this is a good way right here you know 15 magazines they're really organized they're really nice what i like about these cans me particular is when i go to the range that's why you see this one's empty i prefer to store ammunition uh loose just primarily because i could put more Got a thousand rounds of nine mil right here. We're about to uh, talk about that. But again, you know, some people like this as well to store uh, magazines and store that way. Now, like I say, I don't like that because this takes a lot of space and I don't want to use this, you know, this amount of space to store 15 magazines. But maybe you the kind of guy that, you know what, you're not going to store two, three thousand rounds. You only want to store 15 magazines that's more than enough i carry 15 magazines in combat right so something like this may be your full stockpiling if you want to put it that way i don't recommend it i prefer to have more than that but you know everybody has different opinions right this is actually the can that i just dropped i actually used it to go to the range and i got some targets and stuff in here uh, i actually owned this can before they actually sent me that one the company actually sent me that one a while ago uh so that should tell you right there that that i like this kind of cans i like the fact that they you know they stock in top of his shoulder and things like that i put some videos down below where with the reviews that i did but again you could stock in one on top of the other one this cans right here this one doesn't have anything on, uh, in the inside so again great choice i mean i can can only imagine i haven't filled this up but i can only imagine how many cans or how many rounds of nine mil you could put in here that is just fantastic now one thing that a lot of people are going to say that they do is that they use the 50 cal uh metal cans i actually saw a link on amazon i'll link it down below where they were selling some of them for like 16 dollars. but overall they're more expensive that's why a lot of guys go with the plano boxes many many a uh, couple years ago maybe like four or five years ago i actually did a torture test i'm gonna link it down below but don't make fun of me because i look really skinny now i'm fat uh but i beat the crap out of this uh this cans and they do just fine this one costs about 6.99 you can find them all over the place amazon uh uh you know uh walmart target i don't know target but walmart for sure and look at this you could put a thousand rounds right here right and what i like to do is that i like to put one of those things to get get the moisture 
away from it because obviously moisture and humidity is going to be uh, really bad for your ammo so you want to keep it in a cool area you want to keep it in a place that is not wet don't throw it in the garage don't throw it in places like that put it inside your house maybe in a closet or something like that but i also me in particular you see i wrote a thousand rounds right here and at the same time, here's the brand of ammo that is in here. So I know that I have Redman uh, 115 grain, uh, I think it's Freedom Ammunition, that I bought from a, from a good friend or from a friend of mine. And I got a thousand rounds right here. I like this a lot when it comes to 9 mil. Obviously, different rounds is going to give you a different capacity. Because you see, you could get a thousand rounds like this and you could literally throw this in your car, you could literally throw this in, in, in your mother-in-law's house, and you know that if something bad happens, survival, something like that, you have a thousand rounds. Now, I got to tell you, I'm not completely 100% uh, convincing the handle with this because a thousand rounds is really heavy. I wouldn't trust this handle. But again, a thousand rounds right here, I mean, that's just pretty fantastic. So the debatable topic is gonna be how many rounds you should have. Well, you know what? Again, that's gonna be up to, everybody's gonna have their own opinion. Put comments down below, let me know. Me in particular, I like to have a, a, a larger amount of rounds because again, it's nice to have different locations where you could put rounds like your mother-in-law and, and something like that, or your mom or your cousin's house. You know, you know if something bad happened and you make it there that it's extra rounds. And two, a lot of people don't prepare. So when you don't prepare, that means that the person that prepare, gonna have to prepare for yourself and that person, right? Some of you guys are gonna say, no, screw it. If you don't prepare, that's your fault. I could care less. Well, well, that's your choice but i'm not gonna leave my brother-in-law my brother or my mom you know with, with no security because i want to make a point i'm just not going to do that so again these boxes are fantastic i like it i've been using it for years let me know what you use down in the comment section below and as always gotta send control